Hello there and welcome here at Professor Harman Manyoro's channel. My name is Simon Irungu and this here is the big question. And before we go to the questions, Professor, how are you doing? I'm doing great. It's raining. Are you grateful for oh, the yeah, rain? Oh, yeah, yeah. It makes uh, it a little cooler. Uh -huh. Are you yeah. a farmer? Do you have some, th some project going on yeah, in the Kenyan home area? a farmer of sorts. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Telephone farmer. So I should be ex expecting some maids yeah, from yes, you yes, in the near future, okay? Maze, yeah. Okay, so Professor, the questions for today are coming from the comment section. I realize that there are a lot of questions that go unanswered there at the comment section. Yes. And some comp compliments from the viewers. Correct. Okay, so I'm going to be starting with Michael Muarega. He's saying, I blame Kenyans. This is from the video that you did with Jadiel on the secret behind Rutus crowd. Okay. Okay. So we had a comment from Michael Muaragi who said, I blame Kenyans for taking handouts and selling their rights and justice to horrible thieves. Uh, he mentioned uh, Ruto and in brackets so he say he's urging kenyans that they should stop complaining of bad economy and move on with life because that's what they chosen tell michael must be told thank you for being part of us mm -hmm. but again you cannot blame people mm -hmm. we are all a product of certain situations and conditions mm -hmm. so the conditions we are going through we have gone through our history our background economic status may inform some of the actions we take or do. Mm -hmm. So let's not be blamed for accepting handouts. It's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. We'll advise people to take it. Mm -hmm. Let's also not be quick to call anybody a thief. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never even wanted to hear people call Ruth a thief. Because mm -hmm. from where I stand, nobody has proved it. Mm -hmm. From where I stand, I have no evidence that any of these people is not a thief. Mm -hmm. So, but we must encourage Kenyans. Mm -hmm to know that any time you go and vote, it's about your future and the future of your children. Okay. Yes. Still on the same topic, eh? uh, we have someone called Fine Mercury, East Africa. I think he's from East Africa. Yes. Yeah. He's saying that Raila, is, Raila depended mainly on political euphoria for as long as he can't remember to pull crowds. This time around, the param parameters have changed to more scientific approaches than the traditional politics politics of tribalism and non-universal class adversity. What do you have to tell Fine Mercury from East Africa? Fine Mercury, your observations are right. Mm -hmm. uh, only to add that, uh, you see even Ruto is still going that, 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 that route mm -hmm. of the crowds. Mm -hmm. So I think the, my observation is that uh, Raila still maintains the politics of the crowds, mm -hmm. uh, which seems to be the only thing that Ruto is doing. So on top of using the traditional crowds, Raila is also using the traditional approach of, of, of uh, working through community leaders, mm -hmm. what we call kingpins. Mm -hmm. yeah. So his is a two-pronged approach. Ruto is a crowd and directly to the people. Directly, uh -huh. At the worst, some junior politicians. Uh -huh. Raila is doing the crowds, uh -huh. as usual, uh -huh. but is also using the, 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 the kingpins. kingpins yeah. Bigogo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there is some question that is, uh, or, or rather statement that is emerging in all the topics that you do, Professor. Yes. And this is that people are saying that you're, they're saying probably your right leg is in Baba's campaign. Is that <laughs> true? Is that true, <laughs> Professor? You know, <laughs> let's start by saying no man can claim to be 100% neutral. <coughs> yeah. Uh, to be very objective, the point of not being... Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, I see myself as looking at what's going on and talking about it. Mm -hmm. Usually, if you ask a cartoonist, mm -hmm. they will tell you some faces render themselves easy to capture mm -hmm. as a cartoonist. Mm -hmm. Now, if you ask a political analyst who is honest and sincere and objective and neutral, like me, they will tell you, mm -hmm. uh, in every election, there are people who open themselves for attack from the analysts. In 2017, Certainly, there was so much you could say about Jubilee and, uh, and uh, Jubilee, Uhuru, and Ruto, mm -hmm. especially over their first term. You know? Mm -hmm. So, in 2017, some of us were saying things, and people said we were saying because of Raila. But it's because they had been in power for four and a half years or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so much theft had gone on. We had to point out these things. Okay. Today, Ruto started before everybody started. And we saw him in open conflict with his boss. He was doing what no other deputy president does anywhere in the world. You get it? Yeah. So certainly, he, he was fodder for the political analyst. Mm -hmm. When you talk about something to do with the politics, you certainly talk about Ruto. Mm -hmm. 
by looking at some of the blunders he's making. It doesn't mean you're talking about Raila or campaigning for Raila. Okay, so we have Ben Smoove on the same, same thing on yes. being on Raila's campaign. Yes, yes. He's saying then, why do you, why do, why are you trying maybe on most of your videos, trying to make like Ruto the bad guy? You know, I'm saying you, 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 you will have a, an approach in your analysis. Mm -hmm. So far, my analysis has been one to show yeah. what Ruto has been doing. Because it is him who was there him who is doing that he's who, who is doing that mm -hmm. now Raila has now come in okay if he comes with the blunders we mm -hmm. will focus on those blunders mm -hmm. you know yeah. if he uh, renders himself open to attack from critics mm -hmm. we will render those attacks okay you get it yeah but so far he's barely joined the campaign Ruto has been there so Ruto has been a man who will under the microscope under the torch has been Ruto that's why people may think we we, 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 we favor Raila, which we don't really do. Okay, despite yeah. the people who think you're unbiased, we also have people who tend to actually like you here in the comment yes, section. Yes, yes. Someone like Ivano Nico, he's saying, I think Haman Manyora deserves to be a cabinet secretary in one of the dockets, especially Ministry of Finance and Devolution. Correct, correct. What happens if you become the Minister of Finance, Professor? I will change this country. Okay. But yeah. only on the condition that uh -huh. Raila or Ruto, whoever gives me, okay. or Uhuru, gives me a free hand to change things in this country. I'll change them. Okay. Yeah. So we also, last week, this, this week, beginning of this week, we had the topic where we were you were actually analyzing on what happened in Kondele, Kisumu. Yes. And th there is a question, there is a st rather a statement coming here. Haman the Saga was all cooked. This is George Kerry. He says that Haman the Saga was all cooked. Ruto is not that brave and we know when we know it. He is only bold now after amaz ama amazing money and believes money can conquer. Ruto is protected by the police. The police cannot access Kondele if Raila says so. So how could Ruto access the area and even give a speech? Do you think this was all planned, Professor? No, I don't want to see it as planned. I want uh -huh. to see the usual chaos you, you find in a marketplace. Uh -huh. Whether MCA contest or MP or governor or mm -hmm. president, there will always be skirmishes here and there. Uh -huh. The stupid thing, actually, I'm, I must be allowed to call it stupid, yeah. is to say it is Raila or ODM. Mm -hmm. Because like that man, I don't know his name is someone. Yeah. Like, like he's saying, if, if ODM or Raila mm -hmm. gave Kondele youth instructions to give Ruto a hard time, mm -hmm. would, would even the police manage? Okay. They would not manage. And uh, Ruto had been received so well in Xumu. Mm -hmm. In many places in Xum. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to believe the police, but the police are also saying mm -hmm. these youth were unhappy with the way money had been dished okay. to mobilize. You know, sometimes people use money to mobilize yeah. for these rallies. Maybe those who are out there throwing strong didn't. Yeah, didn't, didn't get a bit of that money. Okay. So they want, let, let's spoil it yeah, well, let's for spoil those it, who yeah. got. But it cannot be that ODM has asked people mm -hmm. to give Ruth, Ruth a hard time. First of all, that is below Raila, that mm -hmm. is too stupid. It's, it's too, it's below Raila. He says, yes, him taught. I agree mm -hmm. with him. It's yeah. below him. And, but if you are to say, yes, it is true. Condell yeah. has been asked. Mm -hmm. Give Ruto a hard time. Mm -hmm. My friend, mm -hmm. it will be It will chaos. be more chaos than what yeah, actually it happened. Be bad. Uh -huh. It will be extremely bad. Uh -huh. Okay, there's yeah. someone who's saying that maybe Ruto actually planned for this and maybe he wants to receive sympathy from the, peop from the people of Kikuyu. I also see Ruto as above such a things. Mm -hmm. Why? What would Ruto benefit by by planning such mm -hmm. a stupid mm -hmm. moves? I think Ruto is way above such a small mm -hmm. useless things, okay. telling boys to throw stones mm -hmm. so that they can get capital. He knows the dangers yeah. because the, the, I only blame Ruto for not taking his security seriously okay. when he was in Condele. Mm -hmm. Once he was told not to go there, he should not yeah. have gone. Mm -hmm. Trying to show you are a man. We know you are a man. Yeah. When the stones are being thrown, and Ruto is talking about the stones being thrown, don't throw stones. Mm -hmm. And he's standing on roof of, of, on top of a car. Mm -hmm. Supposing one stone hit him. That was my concern. Mm -hmm. He must consider not just his security, but the security of this country because if a stone hits Ruto, and God forbid, uh -huh. from Kisumu. Uh -huh. It is going to cause chaos. You can, you can ban the country. Yeah. Okay, so there is Ronald the Baringo boy. Eh? Yes. Some names, Professor. 
Uh, he thinks that you are too harsh on the security. He says that do not blame the security team if Ruto decides he's going somewhere without considering w w whatever advice. What do you expect them to do? These are just innocent officers doing their job. Bo Bolingo, uh, ba Baringo, Baringo boy. boy. Baringo boy. Yeah. Once you are the president of the United States of America, mm -hmm. let's go to Obama. Yeah. He insisted he, he, he was in love with his Blackberry, his mm -hmm. phone. Those days it was quite on fashion. Yeah. He was told you not use this. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. Okay. Yeah. Because he needed to follow. The Secret the Service thing, yeah. will take you and carry you and throw you away. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you insist you are going into a crowd. Uh -huh. They will carry you and put you in the car and drive you away. So. You do not belong to yourself when you reach a certain level. Uh -huh. So the security, root of security should have known that was danger. They mm -hmm. should have removed it from there by force. Okay. Later they can apologize and say, sir, we had to do it. And I think uh, the security needs to go out in an area first. They go do their survey and then they identify that this place is safe. Maybe if they did that and maybe they had surveyed the area and they saw it was safe for Ruto to go there, uh, do we still blame the security? The security actually advised Ruto not to go there. Okay. That's another problem. Uh -huh. Do not ignore. So Ruto decided to ignore? She ignore. Okay. Yeah. So we go to John Kamana. Kama. Every Kenyan must be given the space to, pre to present his Sera. What Manyora should condemn Kondele con boys, reminding them nobody has monopoly and stone throwing. Can we blame the young people who, who participated in this? I have had that line of argument uh -huh. that uh, the police should not tell a route or not to go there. They should handle it. Okay. There are places you, everywhere in the world. You can't compare Chicago in America to any other place in America. Yeah, Chicago That's where you find violent. the bad boys. Yeah. The President of the United States of America not be allowed to go there just anyhow. Mm -hmm. He'll be told, hey, Your Excellency, Mr. President, you are not going there. And he would not go. Okay. So, there are places in this country where the security, there are places marked as red spots, red hot, ho, red, what are they called? Hot spots hot or spots. red, whatever. Yeah, yeah they are spots. there. If you go to the police headquarters, mm -hmm. they will tell you this, even in terms of crime, the people who are saying that, why can't the person who is attacking me for saying Condele is bad, why can't he take his girlfriend and they walk in the river road at midnight? <laughs> we used to do that. Yeah. We used to walk the whole of Nairobi uh -huh. from one nightclub to the other, across uh -huh. Nairobi, yeah, from, from Integrity uh -huh. Center. There was, there was, I think that one was called, is it? I've forgotten what, what his name is, uh -huh. Starlight. Yeah. All the way to Hallians on Moy Avenue, uh -huh. through Uhuru Park, in on the park. Uh, so you've actually been to Uhuru Park? Yeah, yeah we were in those things, and uh -huh. we used to walk the whole night. Uh -huh. The person who is saying every part of Kenya is the same. Uh -huh. Why can't he take his girlfriend or boyfriend? Uh -huh. They walk through River Road uh -huh. at midnight. Okay, so I then think they come back uh -huh. and talk. There are places where you will be advised. Uh -huh. This is dangerous, uh -huh. even okay. as an individual. Uh -huh. So I think, Kama, <laughs> before you comment on this, maybe I think you should take your girlfriend. Professor is advising you to take your girlfriend to <laughs> Kondele and uh, take a walk. No, there. not Kondele. I'm talking about like River Road. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Somewhere that you know what uh -huh. I'm talking about. Okay. Nairobi is not the same. There uh -huh. are parts of Nairobi you are advised uh -huh. to be careful. Okay. Yeah. Even, okay. even countries. Uh -huh. America issues a, a lot. So uh -huh. If you are in Kenya, go out only uh -huh. at certain times uh -huh. when it is necessary. But even then, there are certain parts of Kenya you should avoid as an American. Yeah. This is normal. So even in this country, the police will tell you, if you are a politician, if you hear there are things going on in Kondele, don't go. Okay. If you hear things going on in some part of Mombasa, don't go. It's normal. Everywhere in the world. Okay, yeah. so that's it from the comment section, Professor. And I heard you talking about something to do with solars. And maybe for someone who, da who didn't get to an opportunity to listen to that, to what you are saying about the solar as well. Yeah, I got, in, I, I got in touch with my friends uh -huh. uh, because they are doing uh, solar. Mm -hmm. They are Power Africa Solar. Power Africa Solar. And uh, I looked at what they are offering. Mm -hmm. You can also look on their website, mm -hmm. powerafricasolar.com, and you can see they have high-end okay. solar, 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 mm -hmm. solar systems or, or infrastructure, mm -hmm. which is not the kind of thing you find here, which breaks down every other time. Mm -hmm. And I thought I needed, I needed to share that with people. Okay, yeah. so Usikule Christmas Kwa Giza. If you don't yeah, have so. electricity, so. make sure you there. We are going to link the description of the company down below, and you're going to get yourself some good solar energy power. Well, that is it from us here at Professor Herman Manyora's channel. My name is Simon Irungu. We're going to be having more of this conversation where we are going to be visiting the comment section. So if you have anything you need to know from Professor, leave it down there at the comment section. Have yourself a lovely rest of your day.